Okay. All right. Um. Well, this here is going to be the uh, High Templar of Arius fight. Uh, fighting him on my uh, Marauder here. His uh, single target is Heavy Strike. Pull this up. His heavy Strike with Multi Strike. Um, actually, I would. Uh, not a really big fan of having Multi Strike in there. But uh, this is a boss, so he should be immune to knockback. Because it's a he hit he th swings three times at once. But the thing of it is, is heavy strike is also knockback. If he um if he knocks somebody back the first hit, the other two are whips because he's out of range. So and then has life leech and fortify. AOE ability is ground slam. Also with Life Leech, Onslaught, which he's going to need it, and Multi-Strike. Uh, decoy Totem, that's going to help keep the boss off me. Uh, Molten Shell, more often than not I forget to use it. Uh, some Stone Golem gives me a buddy and also gives me some uh, Life Regen. Uh, Vitality, more Life Regen. Uh, Warlord's Mark with blasphemy attached to it makes it an aura. Makes it an aura instead of uh, something I manually cast. Um, class probably not the best in the world. I only have a thou I only have a thousand health, so so that. Um. Basically, heals me 700 a second for two seconds. It's plus some extra movement speed, I'll need that. Um, eh, it's got life leech, extra damage, and some movement speed on that. Definitely gonna need that. And more movement speed. Okay, and um, you might be curious as to why I got a bunch of uh, random old items in my inventory, well, this guy is hardcore. And I don't, because of how slow this guy is, I don't expect him to survive this battle. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I don't know if, uh, if the moment he dies, it like sends all my inventory stuff back into the stash or something or if it wipes it entirely but what I did is I went ahead and uh, I grabbed a bunch of items which now that I think about it let me put that let me uh, put that uh, staff back in the stash My, uh, my Templar character is hardcore. He's also hardcore. And he's probably going to need that a lot more than uh, Mirror the Ranger will. Okay. But like I was saying, I just went ahead and uh, put a bunch of stuff in my inventory that uh, I thought might be useful for standard. But uh, might might seem like cheating, but but like I said before, I don't expect this guy to survive. Like I said, he is super slow. I got a, I mean, I've got flasks and whatnot that give me extra movement speed. But the thing is, is I have to actually remember to use them, especially these, because I'm gonna be spending more of my time running around doing the Benny Hill thing, trying to avoid getting killed. My brain's gonna be elsewhere. Probably gonna be um, watching his life meter and all that. And probably gonna be too busy, too busy to notice these. Or a uh, molten shell, or even even stone golem. But, but that's what I got going. So, wish me luck, and let's hope my computer doesn't restart or my game don't crash like it did yesterday against the Zaro. Okay, not gonna do anything.
totally forgot to do that. I guess while I'm here. Okay, now for the hard part. Beam. Oh, it's going that way. Blurry. I'm not gonna be able to outrun that. Oh, look at that. Just barely. gonna hurt. Oh, got out of that one.
Jump, jump, jump. More of them. Wrong one. Did it. And only you, I shall say. Oh. Boy, and I was about to croak there at the last minute, too. I think he had that beam, like, right on me. Well, let me talk to Sin before, uh, before my game crashes. The forgotten one. Or before my computer restarts. Should Kitaba accept their invitation? Well, that's the fight. I guess I can go ahead and put all my stuff back. At least until the uh, Kitaba fight. That'll do it.